Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. On uh, today's episode, we're going to be doing something a little different. Haven't seen anyone else do this before. This week, Forza has A-Class Open Races. So what we're going to be doing is picking a car that I've never driven before, starting from level one. And we are going to gradually upgrade the car, tune it, in the hopes of finishing on the podium or first place. Whichever comes first. So I don't think I've seen anyone actually do this before. Most people, they just kind of skip to the racing, skip to the good parts. But I want to actually show you guys the process of tuning and building a car and making it fast. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I do YouTube a little bit differently over here. I don't have a YouTuber voice. I don't do all of the yelling and screaming and overreacting to stupid stuff. If you're looking for that kind of channel, you have come to the absolutely wrong place. If you want to watch some good racing, some good car builds, stay tuned because I got you. Now, I set off to do this challenge because I wanted to pick a car that was different. That was going to be a challenge. I'm a decent driver. I'm a decent racer. I have like an S class. I think like a 4700 skill rating. So I wanted to pick something different. So I decided to go with the Dodge Charger Hellcat. I've never seen anyone race one of these, and I think it's gonna be fun. And I think people are gonna be like, what the hell on the racetrack when they see a Hellcat cutting corners, making turns. So let's hop into the upgrades. I've never driven this car before. I'm gonna apologize about the audio ahead of time. I don't know what was going on. I probably goofed some settings up, but hey, what can you do? The video is already recorded. And the brakes are 600. God. Is there anything that we can upgrade right now? I guess the wheels. Throw some T37s in this bad boy. I've never seen a charger with T37s. Let's do it. Hmm. Guess we could just stiffen the car up. And um, I don't really want to give it any more power, so. I think uh, let's just do this. Get some practice in. And let's just wing it. Let's just do it. I think it'll be fun. Now, I'm not the best at tuning, but you know, I know a little something. something. I know a little something, something about tuning. Um, oh gosh, Lamont. That's going to be crazy. I think this might be a good track for this car, though. Depending on what the other lineup is, A class is so fast. I mean, there's race cars, there's hypercars, supercars in A class. So, okay, let's see how she does. Oh my god! Oh my god! Where are the brakes? Whoa, whoa, whoa! No brakes. Okay, so it's definitely gonna have to be one of the first things that we upgrade. And look at this body roll, man! Look at that. Look at that. This thing, it's literally a boat. It's literally a boat. But I can see the potential, I think. I think I can see the potential in this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, rhythm on it, rhythm on it. There we go. Yeah, brakes are, are a huge point of contention for this car. So I'm just gonna do a few laps here see if we can get the car leveled up a little bit we've got 20 minutes until the race starts so i'll just try to do a few laps here and see if we can get the car leveled up then i'll back out and apply some upgrades i'm not gonna lie the toughest thing about le mans is hitting the braking zone on this long straight because i don't race with the racing line on so and since we're driving so fast like the brake marker boards literally just fly by <laughs> in a flash of a second. So completely missed that braking zone. I have no idea how I'm gonna be able to tell where I need to brake. I guess I'm gonna have to just kind of wing it and just go with my butt feeling. So like here, I know there's another huge braking zone coming up, but I have no idea when I'm gonna start slowing down. Is it just me or does this color look a little like washed to you? I don't know. Okay, let's try, let's try here. Oh, bite, 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 bite. Nope, nope, nope. They're not biting. They're not biting. 
So I think the issue for me with this car is that I'm so used to, you know, applying the brakes and then the brakes kind of eventually biting down and grabbing. That doesn't happen with this car. The brakes just never bite down. It, it's, it's just kind of like the same pressure throughout you pushing the brakes down, which isn't much. Let's see if we can get this one right Not right now. Downshift, 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 downshift. Come on. Oh, just barely, just barely. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think I can work with it. I'm just gonna have to train my brain to just break like five times the distance that I normally would. Okay, so we got the car leveled up a little bit. So let's see what upgrades we're gonna put on here. Brakes. Yes. We really need these anti-roll bars. See how much we got. We got 175. Mm. Can only afford a window. Hmm. Hmm. So we either do one anti-roll bar or we do this. We did a chassis reinforcement. I think we're gonna do neither. The tire compound. The tire compounds are expensive, huh? Um, yeah. Let's widen these rear tires a bit. Okay, and I don't think we can afford anything else. At least we got better brakes now. I doubt the brakes are going to be a whole lot better considering what this car is. Let's hop back in here. Let's see what these brakes feel like. We're gonna change the bias a little bit. Everyone's overall straight line speed, Man, but neither there? will ruin your lap time. So you focus on your entry point so you can Lower exit quickly. this for sure. So, let's do a more front bias brake. Okay, let's see how the brakes feel now. Ooh, 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 ooh. <clears throat> okay, they're a little bit better, I think. They're still not great by any means, but they are a little better, so that's okay. Let's see how she does. I'm about to turn one to these two hairpins here. Oh man, this body roll is horrible. It, it is disgusting. It, it's It's gotta go. And I feel like the body roll has a lot to do with the braking as well. I feel like kind of when I hit the brakes, the nose just kind of dives forward and it's kind of unsettling the car. So I think next up, if we unlock them, I'm not sure if we unlock that next, but we definitely need to get some better springs and dampers and definitely need to get the anti-roll bars on there. This car just needs that desperately. Okay, it's time, the moment of truth, let's see. So I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I'm going to win this race. My main goal up until we get this car kind of upgraded nicely is to just not finish and let oh whoa 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 I was not expecting to break so soon yes our main goal is basically just to not finish in last place as long as we don't finish in last place that is a win for me and of course they give me a penalty through all of that carnage for taking a pinky off the track and that's fine but whatever yeah the, the goal is just not finish in last place we're probably not going to finish in first or even on a podium which I'm cool with that I am okay with it. I think the only way that we will win or come on the podium on this race is, oh, little monster. He's like a little go-kart. He's so tiny. Look at him, he's a little baby. He's a little baby. I think the only way that we're gonna come on podium is if literally everyone's controller disconnects for like two minutes right now. And then if it disconnects again after another two minutes, so. 
I'm really scared about this part though, or well, about this breaking zone, because I have no idea when he's gonna slow down. So I'm just gonna, I'd rather slow down too early than too late. So we'll just slow down and just try not to run to the back of anybody and kill somebody. Um, as I just did there. I don't think he's dead though. He's, he, he's, he's probably fine, he's probably fine. Okay, so I think we took that little chicane right there pretty well. I think with all things considered, we took that pretty well. And you can really just see the horsepower difference right here on the straightaway. It kind of goes into like a little need for speed mode when you get into the draft with this car. Oh no, oh whoa, I don't know what just happened there. What is happening with that bus A? Okay, okay, let's do it. Easy, easy. Okay, now we're on the gas, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm losing so much time on these braking zones and through those small handling sections right there. But you know, I'm also gaining a lot of time on the straightaways here. So I think we may actually be able to do okay if I can just nail just at least a couple of the braking zones. Let's see, oh man. Yep, we're not gonna make that one. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. So sorry, so sorry. I'm still having the brakes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, I did not mean to kill you like that. I'm so sorry, but I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going, sorry. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Let's try to let's try to make some shake. So we're gonna overtake the Charger Daytona. Gaining on this BMW right here. Is he gonna get me around? Gonna get me around? I wonder if I can get in front of him before we get to this curve. He gonna give me space? Okay, he gave me a little space. A little scary going through there. Very early on the brakes. I think he got a little intimidated right there as well, but pretty decent. Of course, they give me another violation for taking a pinky toe off the track, but you know, I'll take it because we are staying on the track. Let's see. Oh man, That turn is so misleading because you think that you can take it a lot faster than what you actually can. Yeah, we're definitely gonna beat that in the drag race every day of the week, so. We're, we're, we're gaining so much on this BMW on the straights, but as soon as we get to, to these braking zones and these handling sections, I mean, it, it's, it's over. But I'm not really trying to drive too aggressively here. I'm mainly just trying to stay on the track for the most part. Uh, and just trying not to be in last place. I'm not really trying super hard to pass anybody or race defensively. I'm literally just trying to stay on the track, uh, which that guy, he obviously doesn't know what the track limits are, but whatever, it's fine. We're just gonna do us. I'm gonna do me, I'm gonna let them do them. And, you know, hopefully we can just finish it in a decent position. Let's get on the brakes here. It's not too late. Oh, 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 a little bit too late. Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll concede. I'll let him get that back. That was completely my fault. And there's, the, okay, 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 okay. I guess we're both just gonna go off the track there. That one, that time, that wasn't my fault. I don't wanna hear it in the comments. That was not my fault. He definitely ran to the side of me and blocked me. Okay, let's take turn one nice and easy early on the brakes, get a little throttle. Pretty good, nice and easy, nice and easy. And I fudge up and cut the track like that. Yeah, it's definitely a penalty. I knew that was coming. This section right here in particular is very difficult for this car. These kind of switch, whoa, whoa, whoa. These switchback sections. Um, and again, it's just the, the body roll. When that weight shifts, it just completely changes the characteristics of the car and how it handles. I got an absolute horrible exit from that turn, but I think once we get up to speed, we should be able to make up at least a little bit of time. The gears are really long in this car, which I guess kind of makes sense because of the amount of horsepower that it has. So it could really benefit from a race transmission. See if we can go on the left side. He's blocking us, he's blocking us. We're in the grass, we're in the grass. Okay, okay, you know what? I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give him a warning because I feel like that was intentional, but you never know. Maybe he was driving in cockpit and he didn't see us. 
But that's gonna be his one and his only one that he hits. If he hits me off the track again, it's war. It's game time. It's over with him. His ass is grabbed. But you know, like I said, we're not gonna be racing too aggressive. So I'm 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 not just gonna hit him into the shadow realm. But however, I'm not going to just sit here and take this stack out. Right? I'll go ahead and let him take that position because uh, I'm fudging up every single possible breaking zone ever. This track is so hard for people like me that don't race with the racing line on because it is very hard to see the brake marker boards. And we're already going, you know, 170, 180 miles per hour. So they're, they're, they're zooming by pretty fast as it is. Plus this fog doesn't make it any better whatsoever. Down the brakes here. Took that one pretty good. Don't know what's going on with the BMW. He is out of here. Uh, so we're definitely gonna dust this Mercedes on the straightaway here. Go nice and easy into this section. Boom, down a third, down a second. I think I'm just gonna stay in third gear for the most part. Oh, he messes that up. But it's sad, because I don't think that's gonna be enough. <laughs> I mean, he is in a Porsche, so it's going to, whoa, buddy. So his strong suit is obviously gonna be handling and breaking. So even if I do pass him right here, and which I'm sure I will, He's not gonna do anything, but just go right back in front of me around uh, Porsche up here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just concede and just give it to him. Uh, There's no point in me really trying to fight that. You see, he tried to go defensive there. I guess he thought I was gonna try to dive, but yeah, not my intention. You, you can have it. You can have it. Just trying to take it nice and easy through Porsche here. Don't really want to add any more time or penalties to my four seconds that I already have. And let's just take the last section nice and easy. As long as I can nail this hairpin up here, then I think we are going to solidify 10th place. Okay, yeah, so we finished in 10th, which isn't horrible because we didn't finish in last, so we at least hit our goal. Didn't finish in first, but let's back out shoot some more upgrades on this thing and we may be in decent shape for next race okay so we're back at the upgrade screen we've got about two minutes to get everything upgraded so let's go ahead and throw this on here uh we only got 125 points that's all you're gonna give me that's it okay uh let's take this off let's try to Get these on here if we can. Oh man, we need 25 points. Okay, let's just take the wheels off. Yep, let's just take the wheels off. Boom. Boom. That's all we need right now. That is all we need right now. I think this is going to completely change the way this car drives now. I really can't wait to get it back out on the track and see what it feels like. Seconds. Home said Miami. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. It's not a bad track. I just feel like for this car, <laughs> it's a bad track. It's got a lot of, um, it's got some tight technical sections. And then it's got some super fast uh, kind of turns too. So we'll see, man. Let's try to throw a little quick tune on this bad boy. Uh, the ride height. I really want to stiffen it up. Hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna stiffen it a little bit. No, but the rear end is so, it's got so much power. I think we're just gonna have to soften up the rear end quite a bit. This car is so crazy. Um, 
Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. But I don't want it to understeer too much. Okay. Let's just stiffen it up a little bit. And then let's just see. Let's just see. Let's just see. Let's start it on there. Okay, so the car already feels a lot more tight. Yeah, I think uh, I think we may do okay here. Yeah, it took, it took that turn okay. A lot of that body roll, if not all of it, is gone. It can stand to be a little bit stiffer, but I can do that later on when I put the roll cage and everything like that in there. Okay, let's do it. You know, I kind of hate that they let you pick like the race cars, like that little Mazda in A-Class races. I kind of feel like they should really only allow like road cars to do this. Okay, nice and easy to turn one. Get on the brakes, get on the brakes, try not to kill anybody. Okay, pretty good so far. Look how tiny that little monster is compared to us. We're like a big monster truck. Whoa. Okay. So this thing has a lot of understeer. Man, I can barely get around those turns. Try to tuck in behind this touring car. See, that's what I'm talking about. They shouldn't, you shouldn't be allowed to use like purpose-built race cars in like the open class stuff like this. Cause I kind of feel like it should only be for real cars. It's kind of cheap. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. Sorry. I know I'm a big boat, but you're going to have to learn how to pass, man. You can't just bogart your way through the whole field. Okay. Yep. That's our braking zone. I was looking for the 250 meter mark on the right side. And I think that is going to be our braking zone. So I don't know if we'll be able to catch up. To the guys in front of uh, this car and this track just really are not going to mesh very well the straightaways are not quite long enough for the advantages of this car to really shine and with switchbacks whoa buddy come on man with switchbacks and a little tighter turns like that i'm i'm really really struggling here See if we can get on the inside here. Don't want to take them out. Get on the brakes. I absolutely hate that turn. I always fudge up that turn and this one right here because I feel like they're a little misleading as to how much brakes or how little brakes that you need to apply. Oh man, I set up to that too wide. I don't know why, but that turn right there, this this car just doesn't like it. Something. And the suspension obviously needs to be adjusted for there. So I'll try to work on that next race. Hopefully I can get the arrow unlocked so I can put some front and rear downforce in this thing. I think it'll really, really complement the car if we can get some downforce on the front and back end in this thing. I'm looking for 250 on the right, boom, brake. Yeah, took it a little too fast. I guess the tires aren't quite warmed up yet. Or maybe I just missed it by a little bit. Cause there's no 250 meter board. It's only 300 and 200. So I'm kind of just guesstimating kind of in between those two of where I need the brake. Drop down the fourth right here. Of course we're gonna slide out, take out the board. Awesome. We'll just kind of let him take that right there. Wow, that's crazy they gave me a penalty for that considering I had already lost time. Oh man, I'm definitely gonna penalty there too. Great, great, great. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Let's see if I can go around him for this first turn. I bet he's like so pissed at me because he can't get around me. <laughs> oh no, golly man. Ugh. All I have to do is use my brakes. I'm still substantially overestimating the brakes on this thing, so. I think this race might be over with for us. I think we're gonna fail our one and only objective, which is to not come in last place, so. But 
looking at it on the bright side, at least we're leveling up, we're getting some car points, so we can get better because every race that we do in this thing, we're only getting better and better. Not only my skills, but the car as well. So every race is a good race in my opinion. So I think now I'm really just trying to focus on catching up and staying consistent because I really don't want to finish in last. Oh wait, wait a minute, I'm not in last. Somebody didn't finish. Now, I think that's gonna count in my book. And plus he just went off of the track. So I think we're gonna pass him pretty easily. So yeah, I think we're not gonna finish last guys. That is the whole goal. If I can just stay in front of him for what, two more laps, I'm just gonna try my best to focus, stay consistent and drive a little more conservatively. Because from what I can tell, yeah, he's catching up in the corners and in the braking, but as soon as we get to any straightaway, I am, I'm dusting him. Because those touring cars, they don't really have a lot of power. I think they have what, like 300, 400 horsepower at the max. I don't even think any of them touch 400 horsepower. I think most of them are like 300. So if I can just stay consistent as we take out a couple cones, I think we will be okay. Oh wait, he uh, he conceded. He left the game. Huh, that was a little uh, anticlimactic. I, I was kind of expecting us to battle it out for uh, seventh place. <laughs> but you know what? I'll take it, I'll take it. So we did end up finishing in seventh. However, I am super excited because I feel like with these next round of upgrades, we may actually start getting a little competitive. So let's back out and check them out. Okay, let's see what we got. We can at least get a, a race transmission in there. I think we're gonna actually do that. First and foremost. 150. Let's, uh, let's step in that bad boy up. All right, let's get out of here. I just feel like there isn't a track that this car <laughs> is made for or suitable for, but at least we've got the race downforce and stuff. So I think I'm just gonna put the downforce like all the way down and just see what happens. So focus on finding yeah, let's the just go full downforce because I feel like it needs it. Let's see how she does. Let's see. Uh, okay, 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 yeah. I feel like I've got a lot more down for us and I can take the turns with more confidence. Okay, yeah, she is finally starting to feel like a proper race car. It still doesn't like the high speed turns, but I think I can manage. I think we are ready to hop into a race. Okay guys, since this video is nearly 30 minutes long, I think I'm gonna actually go ahead and cut the video off here. I didn't plan on this first video to be that long, but definitely tune in for the next episode to see how this car handles with the new downforce and with the new chassis upgrade. Of course, I'm gonna continue working with this car and continue racing this car for the rest of the week until we can get on the podium. Let's do it. Tune in for the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching.